Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with a new tutorial and this tutorial it is just a simple thing, okay? More than a tutorial is like uh, uh, explaining some uh, basic concepts uh, about uh, App Inventor, okay? And today we're going to talk about procedures, okay? If you remember, or maybe, uh, you have seen some of my videos or other videos uh, about App Inventor and sometimes you find people using things like Game Over or uh, Start or uh, Next okay and sometimes people ask hey I cannot find these blocks okay where are they well these are the procedures okay so these are like custom steps or blocks that are run okay well the idea about the procedure a procedure is just a series of steps, okay, so these are some steps to uh, do something, okay, in, uh, in, in an order, in a specific order. So, let's do it like this, okay, for example, if I think about make french fries, okay, when you say, okay, I'm going to make french fries, so this is the main procedure, okay, so this is the instruction, the principal instruction, but in this instruction, okay, the make French fries, these things, uh, it is connected to a series of steps, okay. In order to make the French fries, uh, fries, you need to follow some steps, okay. For example, I wash the potatoes, I cut the potatoes, I boil the potatoes. In my case, I boil the potatoes, okay. It is perfect when you want to make uh, French fries, okay. I, I also have a video in my channel. <laughs> well, and then you fry the potatoes, add salt and pepper, and then you serve and enjoy, okay. And all of this thing, okay, it is called fr make French fries, okay. So if we were in App Inventor and we are uh, uh, we're going to make a procedure, okay. So the procedure will be the name make french fries okay so uh, just like we see in some things here in app inventor imagine that this is my big block okay and i created this and sometimes procedures in app inventor they have a color kind of purple so and inside them you have all of these procedures something like that okay you, this is just an idea okay so when I run the procedure or when I call this procedure make french fries once I create it in App Inventor when you create a procedure then you can call your procedure in other part of your code okay for example to trigger this procedure I can use a button or something inside a click a button one click or something and I insert this, okay? Well, this is just a very rough uh, example about a procedure, okay? So, let's create something very fast here in App Inventor, okay? Talking about procedures, okay? We are not going to make french fries in App Inventor, but we're going to make something else. So, first, let's go to the designer. I add a button. A button is necessary sometimes to trigger, okay, procedures or steps. So let's say that we're going to add here a media. Let's go to sound. We're going to play a sound. Let's just set it to 100. And just let's add here, uh, let's check companion. Now we have our uh, sound, our button, okay? And I guess maybe we can add something else like maybe a text label we add the label we can rename everything or just leave it like that in this case i'm going to leave it like that we're going to drag just a sound file and for this sound file let me go here i guess i have some in here sfx uh cartoon a bit uh maybe something here i have something bloop sci-fi you know what let's go for explosion so we have explosion we upload explosion let's check the volume that's it so now we have a sound we have a label and we have a button now 
So let's suppose that when we click the button, okay, we are going to run a procedure that is called a uh, maybe like exploding or something. So to do that, I'm going to play the sound and I'm going to change the label label to something like uh, is exploding okay so this is like the initial procedure and also maybe I'm going to change uh, or maybe I'm going to disappear my button to false. I'm just trying to make something okay like that uh, very uh, different okay so I want to play this thing okay I want to play this procedure when I click this button and I'm going to add another button so this is button number one button number two and also for button number one now for button number two, I will add some other steps when I click the button. First, I'm going to stop any sound if it's playing a sound or something. Okay, and also I'm going to change this uh, label to is quiet and maybe the button I will set the button to uh, visible again so and these are my two buttons when I use these buttons uh, I should have these things uh, I just make sure the sound it is in the source explosion wow here and if you check we have these things so now let's check what happens here first okay we have a kaboom and then the bottom one disappears and then we have text for button 2 here and we're going to stop the sound but we don't have any sound so we're going to change the label and we're going to make the bottom one again visible and that's it it's quiet now if you check these are a series of instructions so we can insert this okay in a procedure and we can rename it uh, the name we want okay so something that will uh, help us to remember about what is this procedure doing because when we have very big uh, apps or games or something sometimes we can get lost in the code okay sometimes you say oh come on what is this thing doing if you just leave it like procedure okay believe me it is quite difficult to understand sometimes the code okay you need to read it or so we are going to add a name to this okay and let's call it explosion it's not necessary to out procedure okay just remember these are the purple ones so explosion okay and all of these steps are going to be here so we can just drag them here and we have created this procedure, uh, this procedure that is kind of a function okay it's doing some uh, a series of steps as I told you then we're going to create another procedure and this procedure too that is going to uh, it's going to be quiet that is making everything visible again so I drag it over here and now the buttons now are doing anything because they don't have any instruction so we need to drag again this uh, kind of uh, procedures that we just created they have just this and they look a little bit more organized than having a lot of a bunch of buttons here because you just have it here your procedures you can just drag your procedures here in order and then you just can modify them and you have here in your buttons a very clean thing so that is the idea about procedures okay so basically it is to have series of steps it is like in other programs it's like functions okay so but well you have these things and also you can use them with conditions for example if you have conditions you can use this if 
for example if this button is something like that we can add a condition here something about math okay and then you can use this instead of having all of this bunch of things you just have this little single block okay so that, that is one of the advantages of having uh, procedures okay and you can create your procedures for example in my games in the mario app uh, that i just uh, uh, showed you in the previous video i had a game over procedure okay so i just insert the game over and i have the start the game okay and you can have different kind of things just to have organized your uh, your code or your blocks basically then you have another that is this uh, two procedure okay that is a result in this case the other one okay is going to do a series of steps and this is going to give you a result okay for example I use this okay to create let's create a procedure that it's going to resize everything based on the uh, on the size of the screen okay so I'm uh, talking about the percentage okay so let's talk it uh, let's call it resize so resize width let's call it resize width so and this it's going to use the screen width and we're going to use this simple um, formula that is uh, we're going to multiply this value the screen width times okay um, a value for example you can set the 22 percent it has to be point to uh, 22 okay the 50 percent is point 50 okay 100 percent it would be like just one times one okay so in that case we're going to use different values for different uh, components so in this case we're going to add this when you add this it is like a special value for this uh, or variable okay like a local variable or something so let's call it w the w of your component or the w in percentage okay so and we're going to drag it over here and that's it we are going to duplicate this one to create one for the height so this is this procedure oh, let's call it again like the other one percentage Ah, but this is a percentage okay so just remember that we have to multiply this uh, times point 20 point 30 point 40, uh, 44 okay or uh, we can do it in another way but I guess that's okay so now check well it is not for uh, in this case it was the width and in this case is the height you just change the name and we have the two procedures that we can use height so now let's say that i want to when i click this button i want to resize maybe we can add something else or an image or something so let's add an image maybe and let's upload a picture i guess i have some pictures over here let me check if i have something from my old projects tutorial i like this one yeah i like this little big and it's going to be here okay so when we start well don't pay attention to my is because um we have it in the in the cache or how do you say that so maybe we need to eliminate some things okay but i guess it doesn't matter so maybe just let me upload this thing with a new a different name i'm going to duplicate this sorry when you have this thing that you have this uh, another image that is not the one that is supposed to like it's like an old image you just have to clear the cache okay in your app inventor um, companion in your cell phone so you just go and eliminate this kind of uh, files 
So now let's call it 1xxxx. So I am sure I don't have anything like that. And we wait just some seconds. And we can see this beautiful, beautiful egg. And maybe here. Or maybe not. Well, don't worry. So, well, we have this, and we are going to use these procedures. For example, I want to, uh, when I click this, when I run the explosion procedure, I want to change my the width of my um, image using the previous procedure that I just created. So I'm going to drag this, check, it is not like uh, this kind of uh, blocks that are like instructions, it is just like results. Here, we're going to use the resize width, here. And you have here a variable, the variable thing that we just inserted, that is this. So we are going to use a number over here, that it's going to be, for example, if I want to set it to the 40% of the screen, 0.4. So it's going to do this, for this part, it's going to uh, multiply the width times the 0.4. Then we just duplicate this one, we eliminate this one, we use high, duplicate this, and we set it to, let's say, maybe the six, the 60 percent we change to high and then when we press this we can have something like that well not well we cannot see the image don't worry so let's refresh everything let's see what happened and that's it over there we have our beautiful pig and then we are going to run this thing that it's going to scale this uh, result procedure that is doing this thing and that is doing that okay so now this is the same like having this this is the same that having this so but this is more convenient because in this case when you have uh, more than one a uh, component so you just drag your this thing uh, your blocks your procedures results okay and you are going to just use change numbers here for example the 60 percent 60 percent so you don't have to have here a bunch of things like using this thing uh, the the math okay so that's the way you use these kind of uh, procedures, okay? The, all the result procedures. So these are very convenient. And basically that is the idea about using procedures, okay? So you create your own procedures and it's pretty, 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 pretty useful, okay? And it's a very nice way to have your blocks organized, okay? Uh, at the beginning, it was very difficult for me to understand about procedures because I was just like, what is a procedure? I don't understand why. But then I just uh, were like practicing more, okay, and checking other things, okay. And as I told you, it is like in other uh, uh, developing tools like, uh, like Flash, it's like functions, okay. So it is a bunch of code that is like don't, okay. And also that is very important. Everything is done in this order. Okay, so this is the first thing, second thing, third thing, fourth thing. Okay, it is really fast. It looks like it's at the same time. But no, okay, everything has an order. Yes, yeah, so it is very important to understand this because check what happens if I just duplicate this one. And I have for here, first play and then stop. Check. So it is stop almost at the beginning, okay? But what if I change the order for stop and then play? Okay, this is going to stop, okay? Another sound if it's playing, okay? 
uh, before we play this one. And this, if we change the order, it's going to play and then immediately stop it. Okay? So watch out because it is very important to have the order. Okay? So you have to remember that it's from here, from the top to the bottom. Okay? The order of your blocks. So I guess uh, that's all for today for this very simple tutorial that it's a very basic stuff okay that I just uh, wanted to explain you in the next video okay about this uh, basic videos I'm going to talk about a little bit about conditions especially using if okay so well I will see you next time my name is Eduardo thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to check my patreon page in I'm just starting as I told you in other videos okay uh, I have many things for you okay I have the source files for you if you want is if you are my patrons okay um, you just um, if you find uh, something useful okay also you can just uh, support and help me okay and also please give me a like for these videos okay I need this I need to promote this share your the videos with your friends or someone who's learning happy mentor my name is Eduardo I will see you next time Bye bye. Oink oink.